Welcome back, my friends. My name is OmniFlash, and I am your guide to Perfect World Mobile. Today, I'm not only going to show you what each and every life skill does, I'm going to show you how to pick which life skill makes the most money. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, tell all your friends about it. Tell them to watch this so that they too can make money just like you can. Also, comment below. Comment, tell me everything, what do you think about this video. If you do, if you comment below, you are entered to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card that will, one random comment will be chosen on October 15, 2019 to win that gift card. Alright, so the structure of this video, I'm first going to tell you a little bit about how to think. And then I'm going to tell you about the different life skills. And I'm going to show you the prices. The prices that, the amount of money that you can make in each and every life skill. Then you can compare and decide for yourself what life skill is the best for you. There's a wise saying out there. You go ahead and you give a man a fish. And he will be he'll be full for a couple days. He won't go hungry for, for a few days. Teach him how to fish, he won't go hungry for life. But I, I just want to let you know, if you teach him how to gather, <laughs> how to cook, or if you taught him how to do some alchemy, he can buy his food uh, and then have a ton more money and buy himself some super nice gear okay so really t teaching a man how to fish is a terrible idea well, so I mean at least on my server I'm gonna show you how fishing is not the best thing to do I am spec as fishing because I like fishing and uh, there's some things that you can do if you have a passion for fishing I like fishing in real life I, I think it's really cool how you can fish in this game and the water is so beautiful it's calm and I like fishing I originally was going to make this video as a guide on fishing and I was going to show people everyone how I made millions millions 10 million to be exact since the beginning of the game till yesterday and uh, everyone would have gone fishing and they would have made money they would be happy but but I decided that that was not good because if you did some of the other professions, the other specialties that I'm going to tell you about, the other life skills such as gathering, cooking, and alchemy, all three of those make more money than cook uh, than fishing. Okay, so so whatever you do, at least on my server, I'm going to show you your server may be different. Your server may be different. The markets are driven by. It's going to be driven by, you know, just how how much how much people use fish because fish is used to make mana potions, mana food, actually mana food. And apparently people just don't use as much mana food or there are just way too many fishers. So so you have it's supply and demand. Currently we either have way too many fishers on our server or there is just people who are are not using their skills they are not when they play the game they don't spam the skills if you don't spam your skills you won't need that much mana instead they probably play on auto if you play on auto you probably won't run out of mana not if you use some cheaper mana food so that's why I'm not making a fishing guide. I'm making a how to make money in Perfect World Mobile. And that's what you're going to learn today. Alright, so there are the four life skills. You have fishing, which catches fish. Which when you go cook it, when you cook fish, it turns into mana food. Now, if you learn gathering, what's good about gathering is you can not only gather vegetables, which when cooked turns into HP food. If you learn gathering, you can also gather herbs. Herbs is used to make potions. 
which also is used to make elixirs. So right off the bat, since gathering, you can gather two types of items, it is actually necessary to have twice as many gatherers as fishers for supply and demand to equal out. So if you look at that alone, you know that gathering is probably going to be more profitable because for every hundred fishers they're all going to be get, getting the same fish they're going to get the same shrimp same scallops same octopus however if there are a hundred gatherers 50 of them are probably going to get vegetables 50 of them are probably going to get herbs and so right there you are going to have a supply and demand thing that's going on and gathering is most likely going to get you more money and then I'm going to show you how to tell but but first I'm gonna tell you about my rich mom and my poor dad the difference is that even though my rich mom chose the least profitable the worst profession the worst life skill ever she put all of her life skills into fishing all of her guild points into fishing and if you look right here tycoon earned 10 million gold coins in this stock even by just sticking all your life skills into fishing the worst worst skill you can possibly get you can still make 10 million coins right away i mean it's not it doesn't take that long I mean I've been playing the game for a couple weeks and it has paid off 10 million gold coins is is worth a lot it really is and so my rich mom made so much gold by selling the fish that she got because she was able to sell fish that was worth twice as much as everything else because there are so many less fishers at the very top top tier that there is less supply and a lot of demand and she's able to make big bucks okay don't be my dad here all right my, my mom is level 57 level 57 fishing now my dad here he has actually decided to become a jack of all trades if you become a jack of all trades that is great that's good for you you can make your own food you can you can actually you teach a man how to cook how to fish uh they can they can make a decent amount of money sustaining themselves they won't be making gold they will not be making enough gold to gear themselves to make themselves super strong if you use these techniques that i'm going to show you by specializing do not be a jack of all trades do not put your skill points into multiple places unless you're a whale do not stick your skill points into luck do not stick your skill points into hp you do not have extra skill points to use on stuff like that what you want to do so unlike my dad all right my dad has skill points 21 in uh in gathering 43 in alchemy so it's close 43 is close it's getting close to 50 but that what that means is he's about a week behind he's a, he, he's a week he's 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 way behind and he's never ever going to be able to make as much money as my mom he'll make a decent amount of money but not as much as my mom now it is so much more lucrative and alchemy and cooking and and gathering there's so much more money that you can make than in fishing but because my mom specialized she makes a ton more than my dad who is one tier down so first thing you have to realize is you must specialize don't be a jack of all trades because this this leveling the level says it goes up to level 70 but actually in the game in the achievements it says it can go up to 90 and it's going to take a while for us to reach level 90 and by that time everyone's going to be a master 
and uh, you can start learning. By the time when you get to level 90 life skills, that is the time to become a jack of all trades. But until you become level 90, you must specialize, stick all your life skills into one skill. No matter if it's fishing, cooking, gathering, or alchemy, those life skills are going to make you money, make you a ton stronger than if you put your life skills into HP. All right, HP, you can put 10 life skills in HP because it, there's just so little, cost so little bit, so little guild points. So you can put some into HP. You can put some into love. You can put like 10. I would recommend you putting 10. I have 20 luck and 20 HP on my character because I can afford it because I do all of my guild events. If you do Guild War, it's called Guild League. If you do Guild League, you win, you get 80, you get 80 points, okay? And also, if you do the Guild Beast, if you do the Bandits, if you do all of the, you just have to go into events and then you click on the Guild Events. Anything that's Guild Events, anything that gives you Guild Points, you do it. Stone Madness, do that every single day. You do your guild battles, you do your territory wars, anything that gives you guild points. Guild beast, the guild beast event, anything like that, you have to do them. And that will keep you ahead of everyone else. And so that you can specialize in life skills and make a ton of gold. Even if you are fishing. Fishing is horrible. It is the worst thing ever. Apparently, most people don't use the best mana potions because they don't spam their skills. I spam my skills. I spam my skills all the time. When I heal, I, I, the reason I spam my skills is because I can build up my chi faster. If you, have, uh, if you have full chi, you can deal more damage. You can heal better. Everything. But most people apparently don't spam their skills. They don't need the best mana food. So... Right here, you can see these are these are these are different types of fish. Okay, discarded tools. All right, the tools that you get, you get you get these tools. These are byproducts of gathering. Okay, you get. The tools, they're only worth 100 gold now because no one uses, no one uses uh, level 59 accessories anymore. But when they always want the byproducts, when you gather or when you fish, you get discarded tools or turtle shells or you get the new shatter crystal. New shatter crystals are worth 3,000 each. Now, when you gather or you fish, there is a small chance, I'm going to say it's about like 10% oh, chance. There's like 10-15% chance that you'll get 4 shattered crystals or 4 discarded tools. Discarded tools also used to sell for 3,000. So, so when you're gathering, not only do you get the fish, not only do you get the veggies and the herbs, you also make some money by the tools that are actually used in uh, in creating accessories so th that's not bad it's not bad but if you go fish and you go gather you get the same amount of tools you get the same amount of shadow crystals and uh, it's actually a much better idea to go gathering all right so right here white sake white sake is HP food okay this is for cooking White sake is HP food. It sells for 199 gold. Sliced fish is the same level. Mana food. It sells for 99 gold. So there is there is this big difference. There's so much demand. There's a huge demand for HP food because uh, every there's there's only one class that heals. All right. There's a class called cleric that heals so far, and uh, we don't we don't buy HP food. Every other class buys a ton of HP food, apparently. They all buy white sake, and you can make so much more money if you actually 
go ahead and cook and you cook white sake okay well you don't cook white sake like you, you make white sake and you go into your stall or right? you go into the stall you go into buy and just go through the different things that you can make and what you can cook what you can fish go in and you look at this is how you find out which life skill you should do maybe on your server fishing isn't that bad maybe there aren't very many fishers maybe after I make this video no one's gonna want to fish anymore your server there will be more gatherers and then maybe it will equal out maybe fishing will be decent but I, I it's highly unlikely like I said a minute ago you will need twice as many gatherers in order to gather the same amount of herbs and veggies and because of that single fact you need twice as many gatherers in order to get the same amount of veggies same amount of supply of veggies that's just not going to happen so all right so we go over here this is lingzi mushroom lingzi mushroom is uh is for your it's your herbs and then we have dragon coil dragon coil is also herbs these are these are herbs for making making your elixirs for and and these are these are pretty good now you see how lingzi mushrooms cost less the reason is because everyone who is high enough to do lingzi mushroom they, they're actually better than dragon coal they are also not only are they selling lingzi mushrooms they are also selling the shattered crystals that cost 3,000 each so it is actually still more profitable it is still more profitable for a gatherer for a gatherer to get links and mushroom since he has the possibility of getting 3,000 gold shattered crystals all right so we're doing alchemy my uh my dad my archer my archer dad my poor dad is doing alchemy he isn't at the very very top he's only level 40 and uh, what we can see right here is he can make revitalizing potions okay revitalizing potions are 818 gold curing pills are five eight hundred fifty three gold so I, I don't know why there is so little difference the HP that you gain for is is pretty big difference revitalizing potions give you 12,000 HP curing pills give you almost 18,000 HP and they cost about the same now if you are on my server if you're on US 001 you should be buying the curing pills because you get almost almost twice the HP for just 50 gold difference now what we're doing right now is we're looking at the market prices this is how you are going to tell if you, you go into your stall and you go into buy and then you go into herb and then you can go into potions and you can go see how much price difference so if you are specializing in alchemy you would have to buy lingzi mushrooms at 360 gold and you can sell the sell the curing pills at 800 oh, whatever um, at 800 each you're making 450 500 gold that is for each ap your action points are the same all right so you really shouldn't be using your action points at all you should use all of your should just buy to buy the items you need to buy the herbs and by buying the herbs although you spend more you can actually make more because action points are very expensive you you have a very limited amount of action points you get action points by doing dungeons by doing events by by playing the game but you can only get a limited amount of action points every day once you've done everything all the events in the game you can't get any more action points and they are very 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 lucrative if you have specialized and used it to 
in your specialty. So uh, what you would want to do is you would go in and you would buy the dragon coils. Or uh, I, I'm buying dragon coils. If I was level 50, my dad was level 50, he would be buying Ling Tzu mushrooms and making more money. But I'm just going to show you how it's done. So you would go in, you would not go gather dragon coils. It's, it's a waste of your AP and it's actually more lucrative to go ahead and do it this way. To be honest, at this level of alchemy, it is actually more lucrative if I was a gatherer. Those dragon coils give her like 450 gold. If I sold my revitalizing potions, it's about the same. I mean, it is probably slightly more, more, more lucrative to be a gatherer than uh, than an alchemist at this mo at this level. But for each AP point, you can make one revitalizing potion, and and right now they're selling for for 800 also, which is which isn't bad. Now you do have byproducts. You get byproducts such as golden charcoal. They don't sell very well, but if you are the very highest level, the sesame pastries are selling for a thousand each. So so if you are at the very if you specialize, get to the very top level, you can get the crystal, the shadow crystal to make accessories. You can get the sesame pastries. The sesame pastries can be made into the best, the best elixirs. The best elixirs can give you stuff like increase your amount of chi instantly. That's one of your best ones. It can increase. It can make you invulnerable. Can make you invincible for five seconds. So that's why these sesame pastries are so good. I'll show you that in a second. That will show you how to make elixirs, which is also in alchemy. All right, so in, in alchemy, I made revitalizing potions. I'm also made mana soup. Mana soup is the, the mana version, the mana potion. You can make it also from dragon coils. Revitalizing potions sell for 818. Mana soups sell for 870. So right off the bat, if you go in a stall and before you make a ton of one type of potion, go in a stall and look at how much they're selling for, and you can make more of one type. You may not want to flood the market with one type of potion. You might still want to make some of your, some revitalizing potions, but make mostly, make mostly mana soups. They use the same amount of dragon coil. So by making mana soups, you are making a hundred more gold, which isn't bad. You're making 400 gold, even, even not at max level, even at level 40 instead of level 50, I'm making decent amount of gold in alchemy, 400. And uh, later on, I'm going to show you, but right now, octopus are selling for, I think, 186 so in fishing you're making 183 gold on octopus when if you were a gatherer simply because you would have to have twice as many gatherers to have the same amount of supply bamboo is selling for 390 daylilies are selling for 509 gold we have so many fishermen so many fishers on 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 our server that it is just completely crashing the market check that out 183 so this is how you this is how you find out what life skill to get if you go on to your go into your stall go to buy and just go through and look at how much the items cost find the skill Find, if you go veggies, you find out that all the veggies cost so much more. Cost so much more than than fishes cost. You are going to want to be a gatherer, okay? So I mean, on US 001, if I was going to start today, I would be a gatherer. Five hundred gold, and and the thing is, the byproduct. 
even for bamboo, which is 368 gold, you can still get you can still get those shadow crystals to make accessories, but you're making twice as many gold from bamboo than you are making from octopus. So 100%, this is how you tell what you want to do. Also, you can become a cook when they buy your octopus and when they cook it it becomes a fish meal or something and then you will have to make bamboo into also their bamboo food you have to go check out that but cooking is also very profitable because for every single octopus you can make a plate of fish you can make 10 plates of fish you buy one octopus for 186 183 coins you can make 10 plates of fish to sell so cooking is also making a gazillion gold however with cooking the byproduct is that tofu stuff sesame tofu or whatever it is but it is only worth a thousand so I'm not sure I think gathering is probably what I would do if I was starting the game right now because because it's impossible to fill the supply of gatherers because it is twice you need twice as many gatherers as fishermen cooking also makes a killing look at this white sake this is the the HP food 224 gold 224 gold so all you have to do you have to buy just one day lily you buy one day lily oh no no that's bamboo all right so white sake is made from bamboo you just have to buy one bamboo for 368 gold you can make 10 white sakis oh my god you can make 10 white sake so that's 2240 gold right there for cooking wow you make so much gold from cooking so yeah i might have to readjust i'm readjusting my assessment at the current marketplace gathering is very good however cooking is killing it you just you, you buy one you will buy this bamboo you will not use your ap to split up do not split up you first if you were cooking at this level if you could make white sake you won't have enough life points to to gather the bamboo so you will have to you'll be forced to buy bamboo but bamboo is 386 so you can see you can see why bamboo is always sold out bamboo is always sold out because bamboo sells for 386 gold and these cooks they're sitting around in the stall they're waiting around they're waiting around for someone to sell some bamboo because bamboo is always sold out. They they buy that bamboo for 300, 380 gold, 360 gold, whatever it is. They can make almost 2,000 gold with their AP because one bamboo, not 10 bamboo, one bamboo makes 10 white sake. So so wow, cooking cooking is what you need to go if you are starting. If you're starting on my server right now cooking is the best thing you can do and what you would do all right this is another tip you will actually friend you will go into your guild you'll find a friend okay you will find a friend who can gather at the highest level and they will become your best friend because because bamboo is always sold out all right if you have a friend they can go gather bamboo and he can list the bamboo when you are online and then you can have an unlimited supply of bamboo just for you all right and your friend is is getting he can sell his bamboo for a little bit more expensive maybe he can sell it for 400 gold he sells his bamboo for 400 gold 420 gold he's super happy and you can still sell your sake 
for 2,000 plus gold. So you are super, super, super happy and your friend is also very happy because all the other cooks do not have a supply of bamboo and you do. So do make friends. If you are a cook, you are, you are absolutely making, you are making a ton of gold. Currently, there is no demand for elixirs. There is zero demand for elixirs. Apparently, even the strongest whales don't use that many elixirs. And the raw products that you use for making elixirs, when you go and make them in alchemy, when you make an elixir, you make this tranquilizer. Tranquilizer sells for a decent amount of gold. But for each try, for each try when you make an elixir it costs about 1200 gold for my level and half of them half maybe 75 percent of the time you make elixirs that only sell for 60 or 120 gold so you lose 90 percent of your gold for those tries and it's it's all rng and uh, when you put them up on the stall Sometimes they don't sell at all, so so you don't even get 60 gold. You actually have to use your own elixirs in order to save the gold that you aren't making because it takes revitalizing potions that cost 800 gold. Well, maybe that's why. That is why revitalizing potions are worth so much. That's why revitalizing potions are worth as much as curing pills because revitalizing potions people are buying revitalizing potions or using revitalizing potions to make elixirs so i mean there's just no demand for elixirs elixirs are used in high you know very very high stakes pvp like territory war in territory war you will want to have some elixirs that can give you full a full chi bar it can give you, it can make you invincible. It can make you 400% faster. Those things are worth, you know, 4,000 gold, 10,000 gold. However, it also make, it also costs 1,200 gold or higher. It, it may cost 2,000, 3,000 gold. I, I'm guessing it, it costs about two or 2,000 gold per try at the highest level. So you lose money when you make elixir. So just just don't do it don't make elixirs it's going to not make you money people become alchemists they are probably whales i don't know i mean if you want to if you want to be an alchemist just go ahead and sell your your mana pills sell your sell your pills sell your potions don't don't mess with elixirs you can't make any money until until they they sort of until there's a need because you only need these elixirs once a week or maybe three times a week or maybe during arena they're, they're still not that much of a need you don't you don't need that to win arena you probably need it for territory wars and guild leagues that's it there is absolutely no demand for elixirs okay so so as we are talking about this what you got to do well I mean right here you can make some pretty nice gold making mana potions that's level 50 uh, mana potion, 15, 1500 gold. So every profession except fishing, fishing sucks, okay? I mean, I, I still made 10 million gold and I did fine. I'm doing good. I'm still happy. And I'm sharing this knowledge with you so that you don't become a fisher. If I made this video and it was just about how I made 10 million gold by being a fisherman, Everyone will become fishers and they will not be making as much gold as they possibly can. And I'm helping you out. You have to either become a gatherer. Gatherers make a ton of gold. They can choose to be, choose to buy veggies, uh, choose to sell veggies or choose to sell herbs. Whichever is selling for higher, that is great. That's great versatility. And also becoming a cook. Wow, cook is amazing. I, uh, I kind of, if you do the math, cook is actually better. Cook is way better than gathering at this moment. So, so go look in your stall. 
and go do remember when you cook you only buy one veggie only buy one veggie one fish and you get 10 you get 10 plates to sell on the stall so so cooking is there are on my server there are very few cooks apparently so you will have to do the same analysis by going into your stall looking at the things that I showed you now if you aren't to this level then you will instead look at if you're you have if you're on a newer server you just look at turtles look at turtles instead of octopus okay just look at look at what is the highest level uh, fish highest level veggie the highest level herb highest level food highest level potion you look at them and see which one gets you the most gold and and right now on my server cooking gets you the most gold so so if you are on my server cooking is number one gathering number two followed by alchemy be sure never ever to touch elixirs do not touch elixirs you will lose you will lose gold you will, you will not make any gold okay you may not lose gold but you will not make any gold um and then fishing elixirs is worse than fishing so when you do alchemy just do the potions potions sell really well all right so so that's it all you gotta do is go to look the way to choose your life skill you have to go into a stall and what i showed you is how to find out which life skills making the most gold so i want everyone try this it might take 30 minutes as it took 30 minutes to show you It'll take 30 minutes to look through the stall and then once you've done that and you analyze you'll be able to tell which life skill is the best one and even if you are late even if you are late even if you are the very first all you have to do is go do all of the, the guild quests all right so do all your bandit events i'll do do all of your guild beast events do all of your wars be sure and go tell your guild leader i am going to be there for territory war i'm going to be there for guild league and you will have you will catch up you will have you will catch up and you will be able to make tons of gold and even if you are at the very top level in cooking or in gathering it is still very possible that you will be making about the same amount of gold as the top level in fishing don't be a fisher on my server it might be different on yours but you have to look at the stalls this is this is so important that you look at the stalls find out if it's better to cook gather or do alchemy because fishing is just fishing is is going to be way behind gathering on every server since simply because you can gather two types of items like i've said before all right so make sure not to do as i do do not fish make sure that you do as i say and to analyze the stalls to find out what life skills makes you the most money so go ahead and please comment below tell me if this life skill video helped you i know it's a very long life skill video but unless i analyze i'm showing you how i analyze the stall okay unless i analyze it for you you won't know how to do it yourself i mean some of you are incredibly smart and i'm not saying that you can't do it by yourself but this is my step-by-step -step for people who need help on analyzing the stall all right so watch this video and it will help you understand what the market is like and then you go into your own stall and you look at how much things are selling on my server cooks are making bank they're making so much money next gathering next alchemy not the elixirs but the potions and also fishing's very last place if you like this video please like it i know there are going to be a ton of cooks and gatherers are going to be angry i mean they're going to dislike this video so like this video subscribe hit the notification bell tell all your friends about it and comment below i'll see you next time